So today I'm going to share with you how to start your own YouTube channel as a beginner from scratch. We're going to talk about how to choose your channel name, what your topics should be about on your channel, how to get the YouTube algorithm to actually pay attention to you, how to promote your channel to get views and subscribers. So stick around. We're going to go through all of that right now. Hi, I'm Amanda Vandergulik from CleverDough.com and I help entrepreneurs just like you start your own YouTube channel and your own online business from home. If that's something that you're interested in, then make sure you stick around while I walk you through how to start your own YouTube channel from scratch. And if you enjoy this video, then make sure you hit subscribe, click that notification bell so you'll know when the next video is ready to help you build and grow your YouTube channel even more. Okay, so before you actually start to build your own YouTube channel, you need to know what your videos are going to be about. What is your channel going to actually be about? You want to be passionate about it because if you're going to be having to make a lot of videos for your channel, you want to make sure that you keep that excitement and that interest in the topics that you're going to talk about. So I want you to write down a list of the things that you are most excited about, the things that people always come to you for advice about. Those are going to give you clues as to what your YouTube channel should be about. But don't worry, I want you to go ahead and use this time while you're building your YouTube channel to just try different things and see what your audience is enjoying the most. And then from there, we'll niche down and figure out exactly what topic your channel should be about to really help you grow the fastest and to get the most subscribers that we can so that every time you post a new video, you'll have viewers right away watching your video and clicking and sharing and growing your YouTube channel. And remember that it is okay to change your topic, change your mind later on, but you want to get started in a way that the YouTube algorithm will start to pay attention to your videos. So sticking to one topic to begin with is going to help you grow the fastest. And I know this because I started my YouTube channel way back in 2007 and I had all different kinds of topics on my channel and it was so confusing for the algorithm. I didn't know if I was helping people decorate cakes or teach financial education or show off my family videos. I had everything on one channel and it confused the heck out of the algorithm. So I want to save you that time and struggle and get you straight into how to make your YouTube channel the most effective that you can starting right now, day one. You see, after I actually segregated my channel and separated it into two different channels, suddenly the algorithm was so much happier with me and sending me much more targeted traffic. And that's what I want to help you do right now. So I have a really good tip for you. I want you to think about what is it that you're most passionate about and I want you to put that into a two or three word phrase. So to give you an example, one of my channels is about cake decorating. So I can take the term cake decorating and use that as my base or my keyword phrase. From there, I want you to find 100 video ideas on your cake topic. And the way we do this is there are a couple of different ways. So let me show you two or three different ways. One is to go into google.com and you put your key phrase in there. So cake decorating, and it will actually pre-populate the most sought after terms that people are looking for. So if you go to Google and you type in cake decorating, the next word that'll probably pop up most often would be ideas, cake decorating ideas. So I would write that down as my list of 100 video ideas. And that can then extend to how to get fun cake decorating ideas or fun cake decorating ideas cake decorating ideas for beginners. You get the idea. So you take your two or three word key phrase and from there I want you to build out 100 ideas around that key phrase topic. Now this is going to help you in two ways. First of all, it's going to make sure you actually have enough to talk about on the topic. The worst thing you can do for yourself is start a channel on one topic and do five videos and then completely run out of ideas and have no idea what your next video is going to be about. If, if you go through the process of first writing down 100 ideas around your topic, you're going to have an abundance of ideas that you can video about. Plus, it's going to let you have a look at all of those 100. You don't need all 100. But what you're going to do is you're going to be able to fine tune and figure out what are the 
best topics in your specific area. So another example, my other channel, Financial Education Entrepreneurship, the one that you're on right now, for this channel, I could type in Financial Education for Kids. So I could help the parents teach their kids about money, or I could type in Financial Education for New Entrepreneurs, and so on. And you can just keep on finding new ideas. Now, in that area of financial education, people who are looking for financial education are probably interested in improving their own finances. So I could extend that and shift from financial education to something that is related to that, like budgeting for your financial future, right? So you take your key area and then branch out a little bit, get about 10 really solid areas that you can focus on to drive traffic to your channel that is all related. All the viewers that do subscribe to your channel, you want them coming back to learn more about what you have to offer because it makes sense. So with my cake decorating channel, I could have baking recipes, I could have cake decorating techniques, I could even help them build their own cake businesses, anything to do with baking and cakes. For my financial education and entrepreneurship, I can have helping families be better off with their money skills, but I can also help entrepreneurs take things like YouTube and Google and find ways to build an online business from home. Are you seeing how I'm, how I'm doing this? So by putting the two niches together, cake decorating and financial education, I was confusing the system. So I want you to find one topic area and then come up with 100 video ideas around that topic area. All right, so after you've decided what your topic area is based on your own interests or your natural skills or something that your friends and family always come to you for help, maybe you're the person that comes to you for relationship advice, whatever that is for you, something that makes you passionate and want to jump out of bed every morning to talk about that particular topic, that's what you want to have your channel about to begin with. Again, we can change this later, but you want something to begin with that you can focus on to really get the YouTube algorithm working in your favor. Because your YouTube channel, you want it to come in the list of first choices when people go to search for your keyword term. So the second thing that you want to do, and this is again before we have even set up our own YouTube channel. Now you've got to think of a channel name. What are you going to call your channel? Now it is perfectly fine if you want to just call your channel your own name. If you are going to be that person who is always in your videos and you want to be the person that is connecting with your audience, then absolutely go ahead and use your name. If your topic area is something where maybe you're going to have other people talking on your behalf, or maybe you're going to do screenshots, so instead of actually talking face to face to a camera, maybe you'll just do something on a computer and record it. If that is the case where you're not the main connecting piece, then you're going to want to find a name that makes sense for your topic. So let's take my cake decorating um, channel again as an example. Instead of calling it Amanda Vander Gulick, and then cake decorating, I could just call it how to bake a cake or fun cake decorating ideas if I'm going to be consistent at always having videos around that topic. So you can take your topic and broaden it to more generic topic to create your channel name so that you have the ability to add extra pieces of topic that make sense for your focus topic or you can just use your name. But you want your name to represent the feel of your channel that you're looking for. So if you are wanting a professional channel, you're going to want to have a professional looking name or a professional sounding name for your YouTube channel. If you want to have something that's fun and quirky for your channel, you're going to want your name to represent that. And again, don't stress too much about the name of your channel because in the beginning, you can actually still change the name of your channel as you start growing and as you start getting feedback and understanding your viewers better. But I want you to think about something to start with. After you have 100 subscribers as of 2020, if after you have 100 subscribers, then you get to apply to have an extension for the, for the domain name. So youtube.com forward slash and then your your name, your channel name. So for that first 100 subscribers, use that time to really just figure out what is going to be the best name for your channel. And don't stress too much. We just want a starting point. We want to get you off of that diving board and into the water so you can start to learn how to swim. 
All right, so now that you have an idea of what topic you want your channel to be about, and we have a channel name ready for you, it is time for you to go ahead and set up your YouTube channel. Not everything yet, we just want to get you set up with YouTube. So when you go to YouTube, this is my YouTube page here, up in the corner here, you can see that it's got my face in it because I'm already signed in. If you're not signed in yet, up there you can actually sign up for a YouTube account. It is free and they're really good at walking you through the process. You'll need a Gmail account and and for the rest, honestly, they'll just walk you through the process and you'll have your own YouTube channel. Then once you have your YouTube channel in place, then you're going to want to make your channel look like a channel because when you first sign up, your channel will not look like this yet. You're first going to have just a blank page and you'll get the opportunity to add channel art to your channel. But we'll talk about that in future videos. Let's just focus on getting you set up, building up all those video ideas and getting your very first video filmed, which brings me on to the next topic for you, for you for starting a YouTube channel for beginners from scratch. And that is how to film your videos. You don't need to go all high tech. You can use your phone. This video is being recorded on my phone right now. Sometimes I'll use a different camera. Sometimes I will use screen capture where I'll actually record what I'm doing on the, on the computer. But to begin with, your phone has so much capability to take really good quality videos and really good quality audio that you can get started just using your phone. And you can lean it against a stack of books to keep it supported. You could have somebody hold it, although it'll get a little bit moody after a while. Or you can use what I am using, and I'll put it in the description below, and it is a ring light. So it's a, a circle light, which you can probably see on my eyes, so you can see the circles. And in the center of it, I can actually secure my phone so that it is in the center of the light that is coming in. Now, speaking of light, when you get started with your YouTube channel, you don't need to have fancy lighting. Honestly, if you just sit with a window, so where you are right now, watching me, if you were the window, the window would shine the sunlight onto my face. You just want to have light on your face to light yourself up so you're not dark and unnoticeable. You want to be lit up so that your viewers can see you with ease. It's easier on their eyes. And that's really it. So start with a window by sitting in front of the window, prop up your phone. And then as you grow, you can get things like what I have, this ring light. I happen to live in a fairly dark house, so it's harder for me to find a window that works well. So this way I can move it around to wherever I want to sit. And I have the ring light and it was pretty inexpensive. I got it off of Amazon and I'll leave a link for that in the description below. Okay, so now that you have written down your 100 ideas around the topic that you're interested in. You've set up your YouTube channel just very basically before we really get going with it. You've learned the basics of just using your phone and a window to make the videos. Now I want you to research what videos you're going to create first. And actually you're going to research every video you ever do make for your channel. And don't worry, it's not nearly as difficult as it sounds. All you want to do is you want to research, first of all, that people are actually looking for videos that you're wanting to make. And second of all, looking for channels that are very similar to what you want to offer. And then taking a look at what videos are performing best for them, because that will be a clue as to what kind of videos to do for yourself. So if we take a look at my, web, my, my YouTube channel right here for a moment, I have it under videos right here. And if you hover over this area here, sort by, you can choose most popular. And when you click on that, it will reorganize all of the videos for you from the most popular videos on the channel, very similar to yours. And it will show which videos did their audience enjoy the most, which ones have the most views. And there's a really simple formula I want you to keep an eye on. And that is take a look at how many subscribers. So underneath their name here, you'll see how many subscribers they have. This is my new channel. And then you're going to look at their videos and underneath their videos, you'll see how many views are under the videos. So if I sort this by most popular, take a, a moment there for it to refresh. Okay. So you can see that on this channel, this is a new channel I've just started. There's 82 subscribers there. And then you can see this one has 501 views. 
This is a video series that I did about what it was like for me when I was in a coma and a lot of people are really interested in learning about that. So the formula I want you to keep in mind is the amount of subscribers that a video channel has and then the amount of views their videos have. If the views are less than the amount of subscribers, so since this channel has 82 subscribers, if the view if the videos had 40 views or 10 views, it's not a very good combination from views to subscribers. But if there's 80 subscribers, if you have 160, so let's say double the amount of views, then you know that that is a topic people are interested in. So to see a video with 500 views for a channel that only has 82 subscribers, that's actually a really good margin. Another example is my um, cake decorating channel. All right, so on my cake decorating channel, I'm gonna go over to videos and I'm gonna sort by most popular. So on my cake decorating channel, you can see that I have 27 and a half thousand subscribers. And when I scroll down through the videos, the most popular video is my how to bake a cake video. And there are over three and a half million views on that channel, on that video. So 27 and a half subscribers, oh, sorry, 27 and a half thousand subscribers, three and a half million views this is a great, a great indication that that is a really good video to make, that people are interested in that. Now, if I sort it the other way around and I do, um, I'll just say, it doesn't show least popular, but you can do date added and you can do the oldest and then you can see if there are any that have a little bit. So, and again, this was the channel that I originally had a whole bunch of different topics on until I finally fine tuned it just to be about baking and cake decorating. So it still has all of the old videos. You should go take a look. It's quite interesting. And you can see here that this one, for example, had 77 views, but I have 27 and a half thousand subscribers. So that would not be a good topic. That one happened to be, I was interviewing this gentleman, Robert G. Allen, and it was about financial education and empowering kids. And one of his videos, we did two interviews, one the viewers enjoyed, and that was about teaching children about money. The other one was about giving to charity. People were not that excited about learning about why Robert G. Allen suggested you give to charity. Now, people in general do like giving to charity. They just weren't interested in him specifically talking about that. But that's how you can have a look and see what people are finding interesting and what they're not finding interesting. So if I sort by my most recent, so the newest views added, 27 and a half thousand viewers, have a look at the time that people uploaded the videos as well, because you can't also keep that formula in mind if it's like only a day or two old, because if they have a following of let's say 27,000 people, but they just uploaded that day and they have maybe 5,000 or a or thousand views, it's not giving you the data you're looking for quite yet. So you're going to want to look at, okay, how many views do they normally get in that first week or in that second week? That will give you a much better idea. But from here, the most popular views, you can see that, okay, so the how to bake a cake one, three and a half million views. And then these ones were my daughter's Barbie videos. Again, not specific to my channel now, but they were from 2011, so a while ago. But this one here, Mocha Icing Recipe, and it's got 62,000 views. So a mocha icing recipe is something that cake decorators want to know about. And a subscriber base of 27,000 subscribers to 62,000 views shows you that people want to learn how to make mocha icing. So the basic formula is however many subscribers the channel has, take a look at their most popular videos and check out the videos that have more than the amount of subscribers, preferably double or more than the amount of subscribers. And that will be your key to what kind of topics you, those viewers are interested in. So your topic viewers are interested in. All right, and then the last thing that I wanna share with you. So after you've figured out what topic you want your channel to be about, you've figured out what you're going to film with, whether it's your phone or a camera or a screen capture for the, for the computer. 
I'm actually going to put together a PDF for you of all the tools that I personally use for my channels in the description below. It's not quite ready yet, but as soon as I have it available for you to download, I'll put the link in the description below and I want you to go and grab that. It's going to be for free and it'll list exactly what I use to run my YouTube channel. Plus, I'm putting together a special masterclass for you. It's going to be totally 100% free, YouTube success secrets, and I'm going to walk you through specifically which steps to do and why they work and how they work, because I want you to avoid having to spend nearly 20 years building your YouTube channel before seeing success. I want you to be actually having a successful channel this year. It is totally possible, and I know how you can do it. So the last step I'm going to share with you today is how to promote your videos, especially when you're just getting started with your YouTube channel from scratch. I want you to know what to do. So you have now made your first video, you've uploaded it. The upload process is fairly simple and I will create another video in the future showing you how to do that. Plus I'll walk you through a bit of that in the masterclass to help you have that foot through the door. And what I want you to do now I want you to share your video. So as soon as you've uploaded the video, I want you to watch it. You need to watch your videos to see what you can improve upon. I don't want you to be hard on yourself. Know that you are enough. Like right now, look at my video here. It's not super high quality as far as design and all of that, but the content I give you is from my heart and it is something that works. That's what I want for you. Give something that is of value to your viewers. And then you're going to, after you watch your video and learn from what you're doing and improve as you go, I want you to share your video. So I want you to, obviously you're going to like your video because, well, I hope you like your video, but you're going to ask your family and friends to go and watch your video, like your video and share your video and share a link to your video on all of your social media, your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, whatever social media you're a part of, go ahead and share your link. Now, the way the platforms work is they don't want to have their members go off of their platform, which means Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, they're not going to go out of their way to promote your post about your YouTube video. But YouTube will. So the more you create valuable content for your viewers, the more YouTube is actually going to promote your videos in suggested videos for free to help you grow your channel. And I'll teach you more ways that you can take advantage of this free advertising to grow your new YouTube channel from scratch and you're going to love it. So make sure you do sign up for the free masterclass. I'm going to be holding that in about a week or two from now. And I want you to take notes and really get the best out of it. Okay, so make sure you do take a look at the description below and see if I've had a chance to put the tools PDF in there for you. Plus, sign up for that masterclass. And after you've done that, if you enjoyed this video and you found it useful and helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with somebody who you know could really use this right now. And then I want you to head over here and I'm going to show you how my one cake video actually earns over $4,000.